out real here with us, Guti. Having kids is a blessing. It is beautiful. But when these weekends call out money, we are baroque. But not like broke, broke. We're like brokey. <laughs> it's like a Q-U-E, not a K-E. You know what I mean? Zero <laughs> seven one nine one hundred four zero four. George Billionaire in the building. Today on Hustle Hard, we are talking about do not waste your time. It's time to check your pulse. Time to check your pulse on Capital 100.4 FM. If you were just joining us, welcome to Capi Talk 100.4 FM Harare's Heartbeat. Capi Talk is Harare's uh, top uh, talk radio station, metropolitan uh, radio station. So if you love Harare, Capi Talk 100.4 FM truly, truly, and surely loves you because Dimvan Wacho. We have George Billionaire in the building. George is uh, the owner of Pro Air. They make the weather behave, and he says, disclaimer, I make the weather behave indoors. Right, we talk hustle, we talk all things business, and we talk all things prosperity on this program. George, how are you doing? Becky K, what's good? I am feeling fabulous this Monday morning. I can tell. Today, <laughs> unlike any other Monday, I haven't seen you this vibrant and 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 you know, you just have this this hype with you today. So you know, it's it, the it, glory it's, of the Lord. I, I like that. We I could like start that. a whole I, service I, I wish right now. Could see <laughs> the, the hype and the energy you have today, and you know that that's how we need to approach our Mondays and yeah. every other single day, so that you know we can we cannot have Monday blues. But you no, know, we every cannot. Day, every day is a must for us to deliver and achieve. No, the only blue progress. we are having on a Monday is like a branding blue. You know, like they they say blue is like a power branding color. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. the only Monday blue we are having um, today. Uh, so we are within Sikona, Sila. Let me know where you are tuned in from and if you have any questions for George uh, this morning. So George, you said today you are coming out to tell us not to waste our time. What did you notice over the weekend where you said, ah, You know, continuing from last week, we yeah. were saying, what are you going to be remembered for? Mm-hmm. Um, one of the things that we spoke about last week for those who were tuned in, we were talking about, I lost my Bamnin, and, you know, he lived a life. We yeah. lost so many people, you know, Ezekiel Guti, um, and so many people. And these are people who you can tell made some tremendous steps in their life to achieve what they are and will be remembered for. Yeah. So, you know, um, reflecting on my, you know, half yearly goals, which I had set out, I was looking at what I have achieved. Mm-hmm. And I was looking at time and I was like, gosh, there should be so many people out there who take for granted the thing called time. Now, time is the only commodity given to every single person Equally. on earth. Equally. Tese, we are given the exact amount of time. But chachino zoita ninguwa yata piwa. Ndozu nezoita utitisiane. And wanawazo wa different. So whilst I was looking at that, um, it got me to rethink and ask a lot of people, what are you doing with your time? Mm. You know, time management is life management. And Life management. Yeah, time management. Time management. So if I can see the amount of things you do in your spare time, I can yes. tell you proportionately with what you do with your time. So time management. It's a very important thing in this planet that we live in. If you manage your time right, you manage your life right. And um, so many people right now are living their lives to, to please other people, and they're not doing things for themselves. And um, your time is limited. Yeah. Don't waste your life living a life to please other people. And um, so whilst I was reflecting on that, looking at things that I've said to myself I want to accomplish and do I said let me come to speak to people about time and what they're doing with their time and um, it's so important I I love the word of God in Ecclesiastics 3 it says there is a time for everything Mm. right and in Ephesians 5 it also goes on to talk about you know be careful what you do with your time because you shall be accountable for the time that you had on this planet so last week, I remember we were talking about what will you be remembered for? And um, looking at it t- today, when we're saying don't waste your time, 
What is it that you're doing with your time that is equipping you and making you become the person that you're supposed to be? Right. And um, in the Word of God, there's a parable. And, you know, this is going to make so much sense to so many people out there. There's a parable of the talents. And I'm sure everybody knows that parable about these three individuals where the master said, Ndagumbo famba, nukukusira ima talents. Ungwagasirwa one, ungwagasirwa five, ungwagasirwa ten. And um, in, in, in this day and age, those talents to us are time. Mm-hmm. Right? And we, we have time. You know, life is unpredictable, you know, which is why I always say to people, live each day like it's your last. How is it? You know, um, Ezekiel Guti, Baba Ezekiel Guti left us at 100 years. There are some who can leave us at 5 years, 10, 20, 30, you know, at any time. Yeah, yeah. But um, it's so important what we do with our time mm-hmm. that actually makes us who we are. So the parable of, you know, the talents. Uh, God has given each and every one of us time. But what are we doing with it? And that, that, that scripture goes on to, you know, talk about how they were rewarded according to what they did with their time, with their talents. Mm-hmm. One decided, mm-hmm. and one decided, this. The one with five doubled it, made ten. The one with ten you know, tripled it and made 30. Saka Mupenyu, what are we doing with our time? And it's a question that we all need to answer because majority of us, I can tell you, so many people right now, Becky K, are looking forward to here in Zimbabwe to August 23 when the elections are going to happen. It's on everybody's lips. Yeah, everybody's talking, ah, once the elections happen, you know, that's when I'm going to do this, that, and the other. Mm. <laughs> no, you know, once once Chandra Chapera, that's when I'm going to begin. You know, when I have uh, the degree, that's when I'm going to do this. You know, when when I have a car, you know. So people are taking for granted the thing called time. In Chinchakai Piranguvaga, there's a Shona saying, "Not in Guva, I mirror moon." So the majority of us are busy thinking that time is going to be there mm. yet you are not taking you know realistic time check and and looking at what you're currently doing right now that could actually be changing your life yeah so many people i know in 2018 were waiting for the elections they came and they went but when you are it's surprisingly so they are still at the same place and they are eagerly awaiting this time's election they are eagerly awaiting could you write us something? A a head of, a head. I, I don't know what people are waiting for. And because of this, this is why a lot of people are going to waste their time. And they are going to blame everybody else except them for not having achieved what they were supposed to be. Now, I spoke last time to say that the preview of what you could have been is what's going to um make a lot of people wish they would have made use of their time whilst they were here. And and a lot of people are using their time doing ridiculous things, waiting for government to change, waiting for policies to change, waiting for so many things. But I can tell you there are so many hustlers who are listening right now. There are so many people who are on the grind doing what it takes for them to make a profit and to do you know, some form of business, and mm-hmm. they are not waiting for anybody. So, you know, with, with the story of the parable of the talents, yeah, we need to be individuals where we look at our lives and reflect. What am I doing with my time? Am I constructively doing something that makes me become a better person? Or am I putting aside things for tomorrow and procrastinating and wishing things would change? And guess what? What's going to happen? Five years from now, in 2028 Mm -hmm. you're going to be wishing for another you know election result but what you're doing with your time is nothing and with true hustlers with true people who ever made any progress and strides in their life yeah they were people who didn't care what was happening they were people they did regardless they did and 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 hustlers and people who work hard on their craft and i remember did any sphere of influence wherever they are they are known to be doers. They are known to be people who take action. Mm-hmm. And lack of taking action, um, you know, 
life is going to go at any time. Mm -hmm. And then, then here you are thinking, I wish I had, you know. Some of us are saving, you know, our energy for a time which we don't even know is ours. Mm -hmm. And we, we are thinking, you know, we have tomorrow. You know, the word of God says, you know, don't boast about tomorrow because Mangwana has alcohol for you to boast about. And it's so important that, you know, we make hay while the sun shines. That's it. So let's not waste time. Let's not waste time saying I'm going to start when the perfect weather is there. You know, I, I'm, start now. That's the most important thing. Let's not waste time procrastinating on certain things that we do not know. And let's make, begin to make progress. Um, there's a message here from 290, um, and they say, okay, there's no name there. And they say, you, you cannot change the past, but you can change your future. Focus on the future and forgive your relatives and forget about what your friends did. Your future is in your hands. Um, and then, uh, above all else, leave everything to God. Uh, so they brought in the the forgiveness factor in wallowing about things that have happened in the past. This is you wasting time wallowing and just going uh, on and on and on. You know, I, I would tell people to stop wasting time. Stop waiting for the perfect time because mm -hmm. the perfect time is now. You know, I will talk about my personal um, instance where I began a journey of entrepreneurship. And at that time, there were so many people who told me this, that, and the other, that it won't work, it won't this, it won't that. But then had I listened to people around me, and um, I probably would be at the same place that I was back then. Yeah. And I said to myself, but wait, George, Wanevana, you've got responsibilities. Let me make use of my youthful days. Mm -hmm. And you know, Chinchisinga <laughs> Onevanu, about wasting time, you actually are growing older. So right now, you've got a lot of youthful you know, energy and, you know, you can run around and do things. But very soon there's going to come a time when you're 30, 40, 50, and you're going to dread and think, what those days, and, you know, one of the best decisions I ever made to myself um, when I was, you know, 11, 12 years back mm -hmm. was to begin. And I made the use of my youthful days to actually begin something that now is actually taking care of me. Right. So what you do with your time now, remember this is going to be that thing that's going to take care of you in many years to come. Mm -hmm. So be very careful. Because um, you know, I had a phase in my life where True. I was die, die, die. And then I look back and I was like, that time I should have done something. I should have. And you're just like, okay, that time has passed. You are mm. living in this moment. Why are you focusing on the things that could have been? And, and regret is the greatest thing that will haunt you when you are mm. on your deathbed. Yes. Um, I've had the privilege of going to meet some elderly people before they left to go to be with the Lord. Right. And they will tell you their major regrets and most of them were procrastinating and I wish and they say as young as you are George make use of time because it's, you, you may not be privileged to reach a later stage mm -hmm. but then it's about making maximum use of your productive years especially to the young people listening. Let's make use of productive years. Let's not dwell on politics and let's more focus on what we can do as a people right. to better ourselves because i don't know any political situation that ever benefited people really i don't but i know people who took time to look at themselves to work on their crafts do you know right now i say to people all the time there are so many challenges in zimbabwe but that also equals so many opportunities that are in zimbabwe so when you see so many challenges, let's make use and become, you know, solution creators to those problems. And what you'll get in return is you'll be paid for it. Were we a perfect economy, trust you me, there wouldn't be so many flourishing entrepreneurs in the country of Zimbabwe. Yeah. If you take a drive around Harare, Zimbabwe, and you see the amazing 
stuff that is going on with entrepreneurs mm -hmm. doing some great works all over. Mm -hmm. If you look at building clusters, malls, there's so much being done in terms of development. Mm -hmm. And that's being done in a place where people are saying, ah, the country is not right. Trust you me, there's no country which is perfect. But yeah. what we need to do with our individual time as individuals is to see how best we can benefit ourselves to become a better people. So, you know, there's somebody who's listening to me saying, George, but I'm at work, and how do I make use of my time? <laughs> I'm there. I can tell you, I was at work too for a good six years. Mm -hmm. But then, trust you me, if your goal and your dream is to remain kubasa all the days and working for somebody, it's okay. It's great if you go up the corporate ladder. Mm -hmm. But trust you me, here on Hustle Hard, we want you to actually realize your full potential and actually become a better version of yourself. And you'll never, you'll never know, you'll never know how great you could have become unless you actually do something different, unless oh, you yeah. try. Because it's you, the doing something, I, I it's would the have, doing. I would have that. never known that I had an <laughs> entrepreneur in me had I not actually just began on that journey. Did I know how to become an entrepreneur? But guess what? I saw others and I modeled them and I made use of my productive years and time and I made something out of it. So this is why we're saying to people, don't waste your time mm -hmm. procrastinating, holding back, because you do not know. You know, it's great for people who, like my Bamnini passed away after a long illness and an and, and, and old age. That's something. But so many people right now take for granted time. Yeah. And and you know there there's a book I was reading and it was saying Kuti on your deathbed you are going to be haunted by you know inventions that you could have created in your productive time people you could have changed lives you could have ministered to True. products you could have True. actually introduced but because you kept putting things off for tomorrow you never actually brought those things to life. And this is why a lot of people will not ever realize their full potential because they are underestimating the time that they have left. They think they have all the time in the world. There's actually a teaching I was listening to and it said, um, what, um, what audacity is it that you possess that you think you've got time? Mm. That you, you, you procrastinate a lot and you think, ah, God will allow it to happen. Like, how dare you? Yeah. What, what audacity level is that? We've got um, people tuned in on Facebook. Uh, we've got Rafi Raphael Piri. He says, we tuned in from New Zealand. Uh, thank you. Thank you for tuning in from New Zealand. My Arnold and we are connected to Shikao. Uh, my Arnold also says those are wise words. So now, George, you have given us the importance of taking time importantly or taking into consideration what we do with our time so this is us now we know because we've listened to hustle hard mm. then there's someone who hasn't listened to hustle hard and they're in our lives and they are wasting our time mm. what do we do with these people are we cutting them off immediately like blocker 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 and <laughs> and you know over and done with that uh, or are we sitting them down and saying listen Mm. This is what is happening. If we want to move on to the next level, um, whether it's business, whether it's with school or an individual process of growing, this is what we are now doing with our time. Mm. How do we sit these people down or what do we do with people who waste our time? So I believe that um, the most important person in your life is yourself. and That's not selfish? No, it's not. <laughs> because this life is about you. Okay. And God created you. And um, the thing that you should know is that you are the captain of your ship. You are responsible for whether your ship goes left or right. Mm, mm. And you are also responsible for the doors you open and the doors you close. And majority of us are letting in a lot of time wasters in our life. And what happens with time wasters, they will proportionally affect where we end up and our trajectory will be seriously hindered because there are people who have far less goals, ambitions as you, and they want to start sitting down talking to you about what happened over the weekend, yeah. I went this. And if you look at the amount of time 
that they waste. You know, so, some people right now um, wake up, go on social media. Mm. Ah, that o ten o'clock mark sen. Abo muga na seven. Uchungwa ripa phone. Ii miga ni. Ii mi. Ah, ningi wao ya wagu zwa guara ningi ningi. And you don't. So what happens with the people you allow in your life? Mm. They will either propel you forth, or they will keep you comfortable where you are. Kwa tuto ku comfort zone kwa. Yeah. And even when one talk to are down to their level. Saka so, wanu wano regera kutuwa we mupenyu wako proportionately will affect ultimately what you become. So there's the no amount. time to be like nice with people. No, no, no. So so for me, I'm very, you know, in a day, Becky, there are 86,400 seconds mm, in a day. That's okay. I wonder if I want to say that. So I can imagine yeah. this 86,400 seconds where money you are spending. Mm, right? mm, mm. Would you spend your time on somebody who is feeding you garbage? Or would you spend your time on something that is enriching you? You see, with the way our minds have been um, wired, <laughs> it's um, just put a dollar sign in front of anything and our mindset changes. We're already thinking like, no, I would never let anyone waste my money. But then why are we allowing people to waste our time? Imagine that. And this is why we are saying today, don't sure. waste your time. Waka, waka value at the amount of time. There are some phone calls which you prolong. Asina bus, asina direction, asina growth mm. at all in your life. Mm. But you will spend 30, 45 minutes and yet you could be doing other things. You know, there are people who disappoint me, who they can tell you about this series, this thing. I watched episode 1 to 10 yeah. and one out these series are 50 minutes long and only 10 episodes and now nine of them. But you never went on YouTube and found out how to start a business, how to do this. But you can watch re food, re action, re love, re romance. But then you can't spend time on something that propels you to go forth. If you look at those series, what exactly are they teaching you? They are only entertaining your mind and wasting your time that you could actually be using productively. I've never, Becky K, heard of successful people who spend time watching TV or series. I haven't. All of them are in books. If they are watching something, it's informative, it's provoking, it's, it's got some business principles that they yeah, are. Yeah. But majority of people, are, and I was going you know, the word of God says the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Mm -hmm. And the way he's killing some of us in our youthful stages in Wangwad Kure is social media, my series my videos and you are being you're being distracted on looking at the things that matter on how they can edify you to become a better person yeah you know i'll give a simple example of my kids you know we do what's called the school run diaries every single morning mm -hmm. school. and when they wake up in the morning youtube motivation and every watch it change watch they are listening to productive things early in the morning mm -hmm. that they then come out and speak on a video that we do every morning. Yeah. Now think of that at a young age, you're training up a child to become something. And, and with them, they saw me do that earlier on, and they also became that. So, Funga, what you are spending your time, what do your kids see you doing? You know, we were talking about it last time with monkey see, monkey do. Monkey see, monkey do. If, you can't tell your children to go and read a book. When they've never, I mean, they have never, they've never seen you. Hold, you know that little Gideon Bible? <laughs> Kadiki Kadiki Imagine. They haven't even seen you hold that. And then you're like, hey, my book, my book. I, uh, trust me. I uh, Okay, I speak so passionately because... <laughs> 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 because it, it, um, it happened. I used to be a reader. Mm. I was an avid reader, George. And I would, I would read all kinds of books. And I stopped, mm. you know. In comes social media. Um, Rafi Raphael Piri in <laughs> on on Facebook says how I wish more people were here. I know, right? How I wish. So just share, 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 share. So in comes social media, and we are just getting a hang of you know Facebook. And then ah, ah, before, while we're trying to understand Facebook, Instagram is here. While we're trying to get Instagram, Twitter comes on. So this is you trying to balance out all those things. So I got into a whirlwind or a web brother of um, of social media so the only thing that my kids saw me do 
was be on the phone. Mm. So when I got them um, their own gadgets, what were they doing? <laughs> they spent their time on the phone. Yeah. And before I was on the phone, I'll be watching TV. Because um, timetable, I'm going to get it different. I'll mm. go to work from a certain time to another time. Then I'll come home and I'm, I'm, I'm watching TV. My kids are coming back from school. They are seeing mama, mama, chona TV, mama, no, but a book, mama, no, G, 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 right? Mm. Um, and then I like to write. So I would think and write. Think. So they love writing. Both my kids love writing because they've seen mama write. Mm. Then I figured, like, oh, you know what? Let me pick up a book again, you know, just to sharpen my mind and just, you know, use my time wisely. Yeah. Then the kids started seeing me holding a book. So now I can open my mouth and say, I know about a book. And they'll be like, mm. oh, yeah. Hey, she sure, I know about a book. True. But if I had not turned around and gotten off social media and handled a book with pages, because mm. again, um, technology will tell you there's ebooks. Yes, yeah, right. And you're like, no, handle a book with pages yeah. make markings we, we spoke about this the mm. other time mm. that if you read a book a physical book you're able to highlight you're able to mark and you can always go back um to the book and point out that oh this is the part that uh spoke to me we've got george in studio and we are talking about do not waste your time yes personally iwewe as a human being do not waste your time but we'll, we'll get to a part in our lives where you are surrounded or you've opened the door to people who are wasting your time. What are we doing with time wasters? Uh, Felix uh, Samagweli, I hope I read that correct. Uh, Felix Samagweli says, one person I really admire. Um, I have gone through his profile and pretty interesting um, with the likes of his mate, Rhinus Mauza. So you got people watching you, George. Uh, my Arnold says, catch them young. This is a must watch. There's a message uh, on our WhatsApp platform. Today, people are very much awake, aren't they? Um, <laughs> <laughs> my Matifa writes and says, Parukutaur wa chokwadi chino pinda momoyo apo. Daenda jubatsira nekunzwa nekuita jinujiri. Simple kudaiso. Yeah. It's the simple things. It's the simple things. It's the simple things that we just need to adjust in our lives and and we're already moving in a different trajectory. There is something I was watching and I started implementing it in connection with time. Mm. Um you know like how when you say today I'm going to work over a butter phone and it's mm. you're you're working on your phone. Mm. Bring bring pop in the message. Umbo click up our WhatsApp and pop into the message. Or you're, you're typing what you're typing on your Word document. Mm. Pop in there with a message. It's now Instagram. I let yeah. George Billionaire post a mm. what, what, what? live on a video. Eh, live, eh, can't mm. Zim celebs. Mm. <laughs> but there's something. Yeah. Chaitiga. Ah, you know, Ziji, you know, you know, what, what? Mm. Eh, yeah. mm. ah, now you want to know what's happening. Before you know it, time has gone. You haven't typed one thing on that proposal that you wanted to do. So yeah. this guy was saying, if you can put... Um, like a time schedule, allocate a time schedule of productivity. Work on a task mm. for 25 minutes nonstop. Pouring yourself fully through that into that task, and then you take a break for five minutes. And you must time that that five minutes that that break. Whether you're taking a walk, you are breathing, doing your breathing exercises. Whether you're taking a stretch, whether you're praying, whatever it is, or you're taking a bathroom break. In those five minutes, make sure it is five minutes, and then you go back to that task again for another twenty-five minutes until you are done with that task, and then you put it away. Yeah. And then you go on to the next one. So he says, if you practice this on a daily, I've been doing it for three days now. Mm. And I'm just like, I cannot believe I can actually put my phone down. Yeah, true. You know, if funny, you should tell me about one of the rituals I have. So mm. there's specific times that my phone has an alarm. Oh. And and for me, those are times for me to pray. And, um, oh, yeah. and, and, you know, specific times. So even now when I'm with my kids, funny enough that whatever they're doing, they stop. And now they also join in this praying thing because they've seen me do it like, ah every time my alarm. So it's so important, especially in this time and age. And wherever I go, whether I'm in a meeting or whatever it is, mm -hmm. I will excuse myself. I will take a little walk away and I will do that. Because it's important for me to prioritize what matters to me. Yeah. If you're not selfish in this life pertaining your time, 
which are entertaining my problem one wakawanda you're going to try and cancel people and help so many people but you're failing to help yourself let me tell somebody who's listening the bad news is time flies right Oof. but the good news is that you are the pilot so you are ah. determining where you are going with your time and if you fail to actually manage your time properly you're going to have a challenge and we're going to go into the four things to avoid wasted time regrets right Ooh, the four okay. things right so number one stop putting things off for tomorrow that you can do today stop putting them off so if you're listening today and you've wanted to start a business you've wanted to go and register something you've wanted to to start you know fulfilling your your life goals and dreams stop putting it off for tomorrow mm. start today mm. make sure soon after listening to this program take a deliberate step and effort to actually take that initial step True. because the greatest secret to getting ahead is getting started so number one stop putting things off for tomorrow number two exactly what you're talking about avoid distractions mm. avoid you know, you know, distract i can tell you tv is one of the greatest thieves of people's time this day and age you know there are people who can watch game rebora rakatambo or ari kuziva result but una muna ari kuona again what what exactly are you you know you want to watch the series again and again you're wasting time you're being distracted by you know like you're saying social media and so many of these things yeah, but yeah. you're not putting yourself first you're not going and researching on how to be the best makeup artist how to be a successful entrepreneur 10 tips on bettering your time management if you invest in that trust to me to bring forth good results but if you if you are constantly distracted by so many things that are happening i can tell you you're not going to make it so someone says sakatikariga kuterera pachidanga george billionaire tomunzwa kupi you know what there are certain things that you can connect to on social media and then get off mm. you know don't spend your time on on useless nonsense stories like this this right here this is top notch yo this is top notch i just go run bit there true that number 3 um set goals now like i said when i began the show i was looking at my half yearly goals and you know when i have to set up my goals because they're not disciplined enough with their time to actually work on them i can guarantee you if you want to have a six pack and have muscles and lose your weight mm. you're going to have to put some time that is disciplined to specific time in the gym yeah. to specific time doing certain tasks if it's taking those walks sooner than later with time which on my results mm. you know mm. so so you have to have goals and your goals have to be smart the abbreviation smart means specific measurable achievable realistic and timeless goals right mm -hmm. they have to be measurable they have to be achievable mm -hmm. they have to be you have to govern a time could by what time am i expecting for wow. me to lose this or to gain this market value in the market mm -hmm. or to grow my business so you have to set goals right you have to a person without goals is just living a life in jail endless but moon i need specific target you i want to gain 2% market share i want to lose 5 kg i want to they are realistic mm -hmm. and they are, you know you can achieve them and right. number 4 you need to focus right follow one course into success you need to avoid multitasking like you were saying on your phone if you want to do a task and then something else pops up you're going to be distracted <laughs> and you're not going to ever achieve anything and these are the four things that will help you to avoid wasted time so much of us are losing our precious time doing unnecessary things and you will never ever become what we are supposed to be because of the amount of time we are wasting doing unnecessary things 100.4 FM it is Capital Harare's heartbeat my name is Becky K and i am live from our studios 102 Simon Mazorodze with George Billionaire and he just gave us four pointers on how we can uh, make use of our time and avoid wasting it he says number 1 stop putting things off that is in short do not procrastinate do what you said you're going to do at the time that you said you were going to do it number 2 get rid of distractions take away anything that is going to distract you from attaining your goals number 3 set the goals <laughs> if you are living a life and your goals we inside uyanga uloku pepereka the whole day akwazi ukuthi uyanga 
Ah, guys, come on, let us set goals. So today, what are the top three goals? What are the, the, the top three things that you have to achieve by today? Do you have to go to the bank? Do you have to get your paperwork in order? Do you have to read a book? Do you have to clean your room? Do you have to clean your car? Do you have to start a business? What are the three goals um, that you have to achieve by today? Um, and then the last one, he said focus and broke it down to follow one course until success. If you're looking for this information, I have just posted it on our Capitalk 100.4 FM uh, page in the comment section under Becky K. Yeah, it is I. It is the girl. I helped you right there. And then you can go around telling people, with, ah, Becky, I'm bad city one. But here I was with you uh, and George Billionaire from 20 minutes past 12. Hmm? And you know... Becky, so many people are affected by social media, TV, and nonsense things that are just going around. And if you, you know, Zamazon, my phone, Amazon, I'm going to worry about how much time you spend on an app. Oh, dude, if I imagine, show you mine. Yeah, Im- imagine. So if you look at that compared to, you know, if you love your life, don't waste your time. Don't waste it. Janda Tawara, 86,400 seconds. Would you pay to be listening to gossip? to be, you know, hearing nonsensical stuff. That's not educating. That's not edifying. But for me, I would only go and spend that $86,400 specifically. How many seconds? $86,400? Just put a dollar sign there. (laughs) I would specifically go and spend that time with people who edify me, people who grow me, TV programs that edify me and make me become a better person. So to people out there, Spend your time more wisely. As, your... as we are shutting it down, George is like, please use your time wisely. Uh, it's a few minutes, well, like literally a minute to news time. And Anzi, you know what, George? The reason why most people don't do their things right away, e.g. starting a company, is because of capital. So you end up procrastinating, assuming you might get funds. This is from Mofu Mofela Southlands. I think this we will pin and talk about it on a Monday. True. Anzi, I'm going to my the business but yeah. george is like <clears throat> i work we don't do that here yeah. <laughs> keep it locked on capital 100.4 fm stand by for the news hala hala it's your